Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Home is where our heart is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the book. Knowledge to Forage. Knowledge to Forage, <laughs> wild edible medicinal plants and trees. And today we're going to be making some lovely soothing and healing yarrow balm. Yeah, yarrow is a great anti-inflammatory when applied to the skin, but even more importantly, it heals wounds. Yeah, so come with us and we'll show you how to make it. Now, if you're not familiar with yarrow, then make sure to check out our yarrow video where we teach you how to identify yarrow and we compare it to poisonous plants. And we also dive into its medicinal properties and morphology in a lot more deeper way. Step one, take your yarrow, pop it in a box and leave it in a warm, dry place to dry out for about a week. When your yarrow is dry, it will look something like this. One cup of cocoa butter. Okay, so now we're going to melt down our cocoa butter and we're going to make a really easy bain marie. So you just get one big pot, pour in about a quarter full of water, boiling water. Place your little pot on top, one cup of cocoa butter to your bambury. Just going to pop this on a really low heat, the lowest of the low, to melt it down. Yarrow is an incredible wildflower that's been used for its healing abilities for thousands of years. Achilles and his great armies, his great Greek armies used to use yarrow to heal their wounds and now it's been scientifically proven to be anti-inflammatory and aid wound healing. This is why we're making this into a balm and to do that we're going to use the oils, balms and salves techniques from our book. In this section of our book we're going to simply apply these techniques to the yarrow to create our balm in this video we're going to be using the bain marie method but you can also use the traditional solar method as well cocoa butter's all melted and now it's time to add our lovely yarrow we're going to do one cup of yarrow dried yarrow if you were just using fresh yarrow, just chip chop it all up and add it to a cup. Mm. Woo! Smells nice. Now the yarrow is going to infuse with the cocoa butter. Shake it all in. Give it a good stir so that all that cocoa butter is covering all of the yarrow. If you think your yarrow is looking a little bit dry still and you haven't got enough cocoa butter, just pop in another chunk. So, it's been infusing for around an hour. You can see the oil's got a rich golden colour. Means all the yarrow goodness is infused in the oil. Now we're going to strain it through a bit of cloth into a jug so we don't get any of the plant bits in our oil. Make sure to squish all your yarrow to get all the oil out. And pour into your jars. in the fridge to set for a few hours. Ta -da! We're taking the goodness of the yarrow and turn into a lovely balm. Yep, that balm is great for healing wounds and inflammation. You can rub it on your hands if you get sore cracked hands and any little bites that you might get, bites, yeah. little scratches. Any lumps and bumps and cuts that you need help healing. 
and you know how much the kids love the sympathy so it's really nice to get yeah. it out little bit yeah. of one on the little tiny bump there it makes it all better yeah <laughs> it's so nice to have in your bag yeah. handy smells good too and it's just what achilles used to use all them years ago to give him the advantage in the war yeah you can read <laughs> all about it in our book but basically old achilles yeah. he won the war because he knew the power of yarrow people used to say how are his troops recovering from these injuries that people normally die from it's because he had the herbal knowledge of the yarrow ah. as always people it's been a pleasure yeah, and if you like this video, then ha definitely have a go at making this balm. Yeah, have a go at making the balm. Follow us on all them modern world things, such as Facebook and Instagram. If you've got any questions, then just pop them in the comments below. Be yeah. happy to answer. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that little bell because it lets you know when we upload a video. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you all next time. Yeah, peace. peace.